Excessive consumption of this small fruit has been associated with both kidney and brain damage. One, star fruit. Excessive consumption of this small fruit has been associated with both kidney and brain damage. Less than half a cup of star fruit juice or three whole star fruits can result in acute star fruit nephrotoxicity, i.e. kidney damage. For this reason, they should not be consumed on an empty stomach or when we're dehydrated. In terms of its neurotoxic effect, it usually starts with hiccups, but then quickly worsens, especially in those with compromised kidney function. The fruit contains a powerful neurotoxin called cramboxin, which can build up in the blood, cross the blood-brain barrier, and end up causing irreversible brain damage. Cramboxin is usually excreted by the kidneys, and so is especially toxic in those with compromised kidney function. For those with severe chronic kidney disease, one single star fruit can give them seizures within three hours, put them in a coma, and then kill them within three days. In a series of about 100 cases of toxicity, consumption ranged from just half a star fruit up to 50, with the average being four, but most of those people had some sort of pre-existing kidney disease. For the group with normal functioning kidneys, the toxic dose was at around 15. So people with normal kidney function may be more likely to suffer from kidney rather than brain damage, which starts at down around four fruit. Because of the neurotoxins, star fruit should be avoided by those with chronic kidney disease. And even those with normal functioning kidneys may prefer to avoid the fruit, just to be sure. Two, Brazil nuts. While some people struggle to get enough selenium in their diet, eating just four Brazil nuts a day could lead to some bumping up against the safe, tolerable upper daily limit. Of course, we're gonna be eating other foods as well, many of which will contain selenium, so the potential for toxicity is very real. For this reason, it may be best to stick to just one or two Brazil nuts per day. Three, hibiscus tea. Not only is hibiscus the most antioxidant-rich tea currently known to man, it's also anti-inflammatory and has powerful blood pressure-lowering properties too. It's so acidic, however, that it's recommended to rinse the mouth out straight after consumption to avoid softening tooth enamel. Hibiscus tea is also extremely high in the trace mineral manganese, a vital component in many of our body's most important enzymes. Although studies have not been conducted to confirm, it may be wise for adults to stick to no more than one quart per day for fear of potential toxicity. Four, hijiki. Many edible seaweeds such as nori, arame, dulse, and wakame are excellent additions to our diets. Hijiki, however, naturally contains so much arsenic that it's best avoided. Five, kelp, AKA kombu. This seaweed is so high in the mineral iodine that one could easily ingest above the 1,100 microgram safe upper tolerable daily limit. The 150 microgram RDA slash RDI minimum is reached at 1 16th of a teaspoon of kelp powder. Six, flax seeds. Ground flax seeds, aka linseeds, are little nutritional powerhouses. Note that they must be ground or studies show that we absorb little of the highly health-promoting omega-3 essential fatty acids. Flax seeds also contain phytoestrogens known as lignans. Half of men making it to age 85 will have prostate cancer. Men with the highest amount of lignans in the prostate fluid are the least at risk. Flax seeds, however, contain relatively significant amounts of cyanide. While it's the dose that makes the poison, and likely we can get away with much more in the short term, some experts recommend consuming no more than one to one and a half tablespoons of flax seeds daily over the long term. Flax seeds can be used as an egg replacement in baking. All the binding properties of eggs, but beneficial instead of deleterious effects on heart health. You can replace one egg with one tablespoon of ground flax seeds combined with three tablespoons of water that has been left to stand for 10 minutes. Due to the presence of moisture, baking goods with flax destroys the cyanide, making it a non-issue. However, if you were to bake flax seeds on their own, they're so dry that the vast majority of the cyanide would remain. Seven, cocoa slash cacao beans. Cocoa powder is the one processed food that I'm aware of that is healthier than the whole food from which it's sourced. 
It's had harmful saturated fat removed, but is high in flavonol phytonutrients that can lower blood pressure and serum LDL, or bad cholesterol. Whole cocoa beans replete with the saturates has the opposite effects, one of the very few vegan foods that do this. Cocoa also unstiffens our arteries and can combat the effects of aging. A study funded by the M&M company claimed to find a powerful boost to immune function, though industry-funded studies are four to eight times more likely to find a favorable outcome. So this should potentially be taken with a pinch of salt. Eight, cinnamon. The second most popular spice after black pepper is cinnamon, the powdered inner bark of four different species of cinnamon trees. There's Chinese, Ceylon, Vietnamese, and Indonesian cinnamon. Chinese, also known as cassia cinnamon, contains a compound called coumarin, which is suspected to be toxic to the liver. It doesn't appear in significant amounts in Ceylon cinnamon, and we have insufficient data with which to draw a conclusion on the other two. If you're eating less than about a teaspoon per day, then likely it doesn't matter which variety you choose. Cinnamon is extremely health promoting, however, so you may wish to include more. It has great anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, antioxidant, and anti-tumor properties, and also beneficial cardiovascular, cholesterol lowering, and immune boosting effects. In the UK, if it says cinnamon, then it's the good Ceylon cinnamon. Chinese cinnamon is labeled as cassia. In the US, however, they can both just be labeled as cinnamon, and since the Chinese version is cheaper, that's the one most commonly sold. Nine, tea. One of the very healthiest drinks in the world is tea. China is one of the biggest exporters, but their rapid industrialization has led to concerns over lead contamination. In the same way that larger, longer living fish can accumulate more mercury, longer living leaves can accumulate more lead. The health risk for lead may be 100 times lower for green and white tea compared to oolong and black. If you're not pregnant and just drinking green tea, it doesn't matter where you source it from, you can drink as much as you like. But more than three cups of Chinese black tea would likely exceed the safe daily limit for lead. Now that's if you're drinking tea, throwing the leaves or tea bag away. If you're swallowing the leaves, i.e. drinking matcha, which is powdered green tea, or throwing green tea leaves into your smoothie, it's not recommended to consume more than two to three teaspoons per day. Japanese green tea is so low in lead that it would likely take 15 teaspoons if swallowed to cause lead toxicity. Pregnant women should be able to drink a cup of green tea per day, regardless of source, throughout pregnancy. The limit for Japanese tea is about four cups. It's not recommended to drink black tea throughout pregnancy or swallow any types of leaves unless you can guarantee that they are from a low lead source. And 10, spinach, Swiss chard, and beet greens. Many whole plant foods contain oxalates, a so-called anti-nutrient that combined with calcium and potentially cause harm in the body. Typically though, people ingest such small amounts that the benefits far outweigh the risks and no harm is done. However, extreme consumption can cause issues, as can lower amounts if the person has previously taken antibiotics, killing off their Oxalobacter formigones, the main gut bacteria responsible for breaking down oxalates for us. High levels of oxalates in the body can cause kidney stones, heart arrhythmias, anemia, and suppressed immune function. They can also inhibit the expulsion of heavy metals from the body and interfere with the Krebs cycle, causing insulin and carbohydrate issues. Everyone should eat well of leafy greens, arguably the healthiest foods on the planet. One caveat is in the case of spinach, Swiss chard and beet greens, which are so high in oxalates, it's best to limit intake to no more than one serving of any of those daily. Now click this.